Everything's okay. There ain't nothing to worry about. Everything's okay. There ain't nothing oh, to worry about. Oh, Jimmy! What's the matter? Oh, eat it, eat it, eat it. None of, none of them. How is your days? A whoop de woos tonight, eat it here. Take my coat. This ain't one of your slight heart of the cases here this evening. Come here to me, my little girl. Get over here. <laughs> you know, you, you nearly lost your daddy today. Why? What happened? It's all right, Gloria. He's just fine. What do you mean, fine? I ain't fine. I'm anything but fine. Tell him what happened there, Stred. Oh, uh, he nearly got himself killed at work. And that's what you call fine. I nearly got myself killed today at work. Oh, oh are you daddy, okay? are you hurt? Oh, the crane and missed him by that much. Get out of here. Miss me by this here much. <laughs> yeah, another inch we could have mailed him home in an envelope. <laughs> Where's my lunchbox? Bring the lunch here. Let me show them this. This is my lunchbox I brought home. <laughs> How would you like it if I walked in the door looking like that? Oh, Archie, are you sure you ain't hurt? Oh, no, no, not a scratch. Me and Irene just rode him home on a subway because old Arch was like this, you know? Yeah, and that was after he calmed down. Thanks, both of you, for bringing him home. Hey, hey, Stretch come way out of his way to come home with me there. Hey, they don't make guys like him no more. No, not since my father died. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> laugh, will you? Are you up to talking about it now? What do you mean up to talking about it? I was just getting down to talking about it. <laughs> this happened on the last coffee break of the day. For me, it could have been the last coffee break of all time, Edith. I'm sitting there, and Dutch Krieger ups to me and offers me a hard-boiled egg left over from his lunch, you know? So I take the egg, and I, I peel it off, and I'm just about to eat it when all of a sudden, a verse you know, come like out of nowhere into my head, and it says to me, you need salt on that egg. Your verse was right, because a hard-boiled egg always tastes better with salt. <laughs> if you want, starting tomorrow, I'll you put a hard You shut up! I'm not going to so I take a couple of steps over the Dutch to get the salt, and I hear a whoosh behind me. I turn around, and bam, this crate comes right down off of a crane, down on a loading platform, right where I was sitting. Now, can you imagine if that thing had hit me on top of my head? Wasn't you wearing your safety hat? <laughs> the crate weighed one ton. If I hadn't have moved, my feet would have been wearing my safety. Gee, Arch, you sure were lucky. Ah, oh, come on. It wasn't luck. It wasn't luck. It was God. Who? You heard me. It was God's voice that warned me and saved me there. Uh, uh, how did you know it was God's voice? Because, buddy, God has one of them voices that you never, ever forget. <laughs> You know, like Bing Crosby. <laughs> My Archie, it's like a miracle. You wasn't killed. What do you mean, like a miracle? I'm telling you, it was a miracle. Oh, come on, Archie. It was luck. There's no such thing as miracles. Ah, what the hell do you know? <laughs> to millions and billions of people that read the Bible, there are plenty of miracles. Miracles run all through the Bible there. What about your story of Noah and the whale there? What about Samson? He takes a jawbone out of the grass and he kills the whole army of the Philippines. <laughs> What's important is you're alive. Uh, yeah, all right, Edith. Yeah, all right. I'm alive and I'm hungry, so shake a leg and get supper on the table there, will you? Oh, I'll, I'll help you, Ma. Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, my. I'm lucky I had you to shake a leg for. <laughs> Look at this. This could be me I'm holding my hand in. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, it makes a guy stop and think when he's just been the victim of a miracle. <laughs> you just had a close call. You don't have to pretend to get religious about it. Hey, hey there. I don't pretend nothing when it comes to religion. I'll show you how much I pretend. Hey, Edith, get out here, will you? Dinner's almost ready. Yeah, well, wait a minute. Hold dinner for a minute. Now, you got the number. I want you to get on the phone and get a hold of Reverend Fletcher. Felcher. Whatever. 
<laughs> Get him on a blower there. Huh? What do you want to talk to him for? I got a little surprise for him and a surprise for you, too. Hurry up there. Huh? Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's been flying around the house since July the 4th. <laughs> Get him now. Uh, yeah. Hold it, meathead. Don't move. <laughs> Don't move. Don't move. <clears throat> yeah, I finally knocked his brains out. Arch, you killed a fly. One of God's creatures. Ah, oh, that doesn't make no difference. Insects and animals don't count. They ain't got no souls. Which means they can't get into heaven. That's right. Who'd want to go to heaven? It was full of flies and dogs. <laughs> Might as well stay in New York. Hello, Reverend Belcher. Yeah, I'll be right there. You still got some fly on you there. Yeah, Archie wants to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, hello there, Reverend Fletcher. Whatever. Uh, hey, listen, uh, what I wanted to say was, uh, you, you remember the annual appeal for the leak and roof envelopes? We were supposed to put some money in sent by. I know you never got mine. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to put an extra book in the basket on Sunday for that. That's right. I am going to do it. You're going to know it's my book. Look for the dollar that has A.B. under In God We Trust. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to come to church every Sunday now. And I promise I'm going to do good work for the church. Absolutely, Reverend. Yeah, well, listen, we got to eat now, so... Uh, I'll see you in church, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah. Oh, Archie, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I certainly are. Uh, oh, I'll get it. Yeah, yeah. All right, you heard that telephone conversation, didn't you? I heard it. I heard it, but I don't believe it. Because come this Sunday, you're going to be doing what you always do. You're going to be sitting right in this chair, drinking beer, watching TV, and swearing at Joe Namath. <laughs> you want to bet me $5,000? Arch, did you ever stop to think, when that crate dropped, maybe God was out to get you and missed? Come and get it! Oh, boy, am I hungry. Oh. <laughs> Diving after the food the way a pelican dives after fish. Hold, hold, hold. Nobody eats nothing here until we say grace. We never say grace. Well, we're going to say it from now on. I always say grace in my heart. Well, in your mouth, you're going to say it tonight. <laughs> <coughs> ah, we're going to give God thanks for the food on his table, which comes from him. Maybe we can ask him to lower his prices. <laughs> never mind the blasphemy. Just clam up all ears now and bow your heads down. Bow that head down. <laughs> Hello, Lord A. Bunker here. <laughs> I want to give thou thanks for the food that thou put on the table here. For instance, the salad, the uh, meatloaf, <laughs> boiled potatoes, some chopped up green stuff here. Broccoli. <laughs> He says it's broccoli, Lord. <laughs> and for snatching me from the what do you call jaws of death, I'll thank you for that in private before I go to bed tonight, amen. Oh, see, that was beautiful. Damn right it was. <laughs> uh, can we eat now? Hold it, hold it. Give me that. Now.
probably pure luck. Oh, luck, luck, luck. Who do you think is the boss over all luck? God. That's right. If it's good luck, anything bad comes from the devil. Ah, there is no devil. There is no heaven. There is no hell. And there is no God. Oh, there he goes again. Lord, but it's great. That's here. right. There he goes. Lord, listen to me. Hey, hey, hey. Michael, hey. what's the matter? Oh, went down the wrong way. Oh, no, that's the Lord shoving them words back down your throat. <laughs>